hello everyone and welcome back again dear friends uh, we are discussing the model question paper uh, for the third semester CSE stream students the mathematics subject subject code is BCS 301 so far we have uh, solved the varieties of questions okay today let me explain uh, the derivation part over here that is find the mean and standard deviation of Poisson's distribution okay so in the examination you should write in this way only okay so that you will get full marks so first of all let's start with the uh, assumption or statement that let x be the discrete random variable for any real value lambda such that the probability mass function of Poisson's distribution can be defined as okay so this is the formula for probability for the Poisson's distribution as we have already solved the uh, problems on this formula base uh, sorry on this particular formula over there so this is p of x is equal to e power minus lambda lambda is power x divided by x factorial this is the probability formula for the Poisson's distribution okay so what we have to calculate mean and standard deviation so first we will take mean over here then we can calculate the standard deviation okay so mean is equal to there is also a formula summation of x is sorry x is equal to 0 to infinity x into p of x okay so which is equal to summation of x uh, running from 0 to infinity x as it is what is the p of x value already over here okay in the statement that is p of x you have to put uh, here instead of p of x e raised power minus lambda lambda raised power x divided by x factorial okay so summation of x running from 0 to infinity x as it is i can just expand this term as uh, suppose this is e power a lambda sorry e power minus lambda as it is so lambda x i can write it as lambda x minus 1 into lambda raised power 1 bases are same powers will be added so if you just write down the statement again that is x minus 1 plus 1 as bases are same powers are added so x minus 1 plus 1 so 1 and 1 get cancelled you will get again the lambda x term so in mathematics uh, the changing of the steps uh, creates a lot of difference okay so by making these changes we can get the another statement that is your lambda x i can write lambda x minus 1 lambda raised power 1 i hope you are getting divided by and i can expand this factorial as x into x minus 1 you already know it i think uh, this is the pu based concept suppose if i am taking the example of 5 factorial how you are writing the 5 factorial you are writing it as 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 okay so likewise here is the x so i can write down x into x minus 1 now x is suppose 5 okay so i can write down 5 into 5 minus 1 factorial i can stop it up to this only i can stop up uh, up to this sorry 5 minus 2 5 minus 3 like that one okay so it is your choice up to which value you will stop 5 minus 1 5 minus 2 but, but here i am uh, only stopping this term as x minus 1 factorial okay so that this x and x will, will get cancelled out so see here i am taking this lambda out of the equation uh, summation of x running from 1 to infinity why i am writing 1 just because i have cancelled this x and x that is zero term okay this will this will get cancelled you will get with x minus one right so now <clears throat> let us proceed uh, so i will take this e power minus lambda out of the equation just because whatever the x terms are there so this is constant term with respect to x okay so that is why i am taking it out e power minus lambda i will take out and lambda is already out of the equation so you have to write down the summation of x running from one to infinity just to put down the values of x as one okay so i will take lambda x value you have to put 1 1 minus 1 is 0 so lambda is power 0 is equal to 1 minus 1 sorry divided by uh, 1 minus 1 is 0 so 0 factorial plus uh, now you have to take two value just because you are taking x value as 1 2 3 up to infinity now take the value 2 so lambda is power 2 minus 1 is 1 divided by 2 minus 1 is 1 so 1 factorial plus lambda is power 3 minus 1 is 2 so lambda 2 3 minus 2 is 2 that is lambda 2 divided by 2 factorial likewise you have to go through lambda 3 divided by 3 factorial plus so so on okay so this is nothing but this is the mclaren series you might have heard about the mclaren series in the second semester itself so okay so actually mclaren series is like this one x raised power 0 divided by 0 factorial plus x raised power 1 divided by 1 factorial plus x raised power 2 divided by 3 factorial plus sorry 2 factorial so so on okay so that is equal to always equal to e power x but here is instead of x here is the lambda okay so i can take the formula as e power lambda over here i hope you are getting now e power minus lambda and lambda as it is what is the this mclaren series it is always equal to e power x but here is lambda so e power lambda i am taking here okay so e power minus lambda into lambda into this e lambda now see here bases are same powers are added what i will get e power minus lambda 
plus lambda this is lambda and this will cancel out this will become zero so anything raised power zero is equal to one so i can take uh, this e power minus lambda into e power lambda value as one so one into lambda is lambda over here this is the mean for this particular question now we have to go through the standard deviation in order to calculate the standard deviation first of all we need to calculate the variance okay later on we can calculate the standard uh, deviation by uh, just routing this particular variance okay so first of all sigma square this is the formula sigma square is equal to summation of x is equal to 0 to infinity x square p of x minus mu square this is formula okay now accordingly you have to proceed so see here i am just making one step extra over here that is summation of x running from 0 to infinity x into x minus 1 this x square can be written as x into x minus 1 plus x see if you just calculate this one you will get x square minus 1 into x is x plus x x and x will get cancelled this is negative positive so you will get again this x square okay <clears throat> so i have made this step extra and p of x as it is minus mu square as it is right then summation of x running from 0 to infinity x into x minus 1 p of x i am multiplying this term with this and uh, just applying summation to this term okay plus summation of x running from 0 to infinity x into p of x separately i am writing this term minus mu square now summation of x running from 0 to infinity x into x minus 1 p of x as it is plus what is this value we have calculated this only in the beginning itself see here summation of x raised sorry x running from 0 to infinity x of p of x of p of x it is always equal to lambda i have calculated this one so i can just replace this value as lambda over here or mu simply i can say mu it, it is mu so minus mu square okay next summation of x is equal to 0 to infinity x of x minus 1 now what is the p of x value already you know from the statement that is your e power minus lambda lambda raised power x divided by x factorial so that is what i have written over here e power minus lambda lambda raised power x divided by x factorial plus what is the mu value mu value is lambda okay so lambda minus lambda square okay summation of x running from 0 to infinity x into x minus 1 e power minus lambda lambda is power uh, so i can write this lambda same in the previous step in the previous mean itself i have written lambda as sorry here is lambda x i can write down lambda x minus 2 into lambda is power 2 bases are same powers will be added so i will get x minus 2 plus 2 this 2 and 2 will get cancelled i will get again lambda is power x okay and also this x factorial i can just expand it up to x minus 1 into x minus 2 factorial okay so see here in this step uh, e power minus lambda lambda i am writing it as lambda x minus 2 lambda raised power 2 okay divided by x factorial i am expanding it up to this term x into x minus 1 x minus 2 factorial plus lambda minus lambda square as it is right so now just take these lambda terms out just because these are constant with respect to the summation okay so e power minus lambda and lambda square i will take out of the equation so summation of x running from 2 to infinity why 2 to infinity see here x i am cancelling out with this x so that is the zero value x minus one x minus one that is the one value so zero and one are already cancelled out okay so this and this term will get cancelled so i have to take summation of x running from two to infinity lambda x is sorry lambda raised power x minus two divided by x minus two factorial okay plus lambda and lambda square will be same as it is now e power minus lambda as it is lambda square as it is now you have to do the summation put down the value x is equal to 2 for uh, 2 uh, up to infinity so see first i am taking 2 value so lambda raised power 2 minus 2 so uh, lambda 2 minus 2 is 0 so lambda raised power 0 divided by 2 minus 2 is 0 again 0 factorial plus lambda raised power now i have to take 3 value 3 minus 2 that is 1 uh, lambda raised power 1 divided by 1 factorial plus uh, now i have to take 4 value okay 2 up to infinity so 4 minus 2 is 2 lambda square divided by 2 factorial plus so so on okay plus lambda and minus lambda square as it is okay this is nothing but mclaren series okay already in the previous uh, mean i have told you this uh, is the mclaren series over there it is always equal to e power lambda so e power minus lambda lambda square instead of this i am taking e raised power lambda okay plus this lambda minus lambda square as it is now see here e power minus lambda e power positive lambda these are bases are same powers will be added so e power minus lambda plus lambda this will get cancelled it will become e power 0 so anything raised power 0 is equal to 1 
okay so this will get cancelled lambda square is here plus lambda minus lambda square now this is minus negative sorry this is negative lambda square positive lambda square this will get cancelled and you will get with lambda okay so this is nothing but variance now standard deviation formula is standard deviation is equal to under root of variance so standard deviation is equal to variance we are getting here in the above step so i can write down under root of lambda okay so this is the standard deviation for this particular question and also i have calculated the mean okay i hope this is clear to you people so make sure you will share this video to all your friends who actually need it and thanks for watching my video